So what we're gonna do is browse the shelves. We're gonna look around and then try to find the top 10 most expensive sneakers inside Cold Kicks. Welcome back to Kicking It With The Cool. As you guys know, we've been closed for the last three to four weeks. As you can see, the gate's down. And it's kind of heartbreaking because yesterday was our two year anniversary for The Cool by Cool Kicks. And it kind of hurt seeing the staff. A lot of people had texted me and they said, oh, what are you gonna do for the anniversary? And it's like, honestly, we can't do nothing. Like, we can't be open. Non-essential businesses can't stay open. Rumors are, hopefully by May, we can open up. If not, June. Uh, where I'm from, Virginia, they have the stay at home order till June 10th. But I highly recommend everyone out there, man, to save a life out there to stay home. I know it's a hard time, rough time right now. I know people want to are anxious to get out their house and do it, do things. Especially me, it's so hard putting dope content out for you guys when majority of our dope content is taking place in this, like sneaker shopping and doing challenges. It's kind of tough for us. So we still want to put some content out for you. We're probably gonna do a closet tour for me and Move. Um, in this video, for in particular, what we're gonna do is we're gonna. A lot of people have been DMing me to do a video where it's the top 10 most expensive sneakers at Cool Kicks. So what we're gonna do is browse the shelves, we're gonna look around, and then try to find the top 10 most expensive sneakers inside Cool Kicks. So let's look around and see what we find. So right now I'm trying to pick out the sneakers that are the most expensive. And remember, this is the most expensive sneakers on display. Obviously we have shoes that are worth 10, 20 thousand dollars worth in the, in the vault that aren't on display. Um, so this is basically, this video is going to be the top 10 most sneakers at Cool Kicks, most expensive sneakers at Cool Kicks that are really on display. Obviously the majority of that stuff, all those are pre-owned, these are all DS, but I don't really see anything that are over $2,000 on this wall. So we're going straight to the glass case. Let's see, I got these so far. Some of these SBs do go for a lot. MCA for sure, let's do an MCA. That's five right there. These are the sad, these ain't the regular breads. These go for a lot. These probably go for a lot too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got two more. Comment down below too if you if I if you think there's something that's expensive in these glass cases that are more expensive than those, let me know. Cause I'm not because a lot of those off-whites, Travis's don't really go for that too too high. Trying to find shoes that are well, uh, worth over 2,000, at least, in order to make the cut. These bands, maybe, forces, for the white forces have gone up, but, oh, These do go for a lot. These ain't the regular Royals, brand new. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So welcome to the top 10 most expensive sneakers inside Cool Kicks that's on display. First, we have the Nike Air Yeezy 2 Plats. These, I think, released in 2012. Retail, I think, was 250 on these. Comment down below what you think the reseller is. This is a size 12. Brand new online from places that you guys, I'm, I'm gonna go off the average from either Go, Flight Club, StockX, whatever you guys use to market a price. Roughly, this shoe is close to $5,000. So this is at least one of the top 10 most expensive sneakers on display on Kill Picks. The second shoes we have as one of the top most expensive sneakers at Cool Kicks is the Louis Vuitton Dawn, the all red ones. These I think released in 08 or 09. The retail was high on these because obviously it was designer Louis Vuitton with the collab of Kanye. I think retail is 8 to 900. I think 850. I'm not sure exactly what the retail was. For resale right now, there isn't many pairs out in circulation, especially brand new. There is a pair on StockX that's worth over $11,000. In store, we sell them close to like 2,000. This one's actually a steal, but the market value on this shoe is close to five to 10,000. So this is another top 10 most expensive pair. Has two pairs of Kanye West in the top 10. Obviously, you know Kanye West has a very, very dope, um, has very dope sneakers out there, especially with the resale industry, so. This is our number two. The shoe that made it on the list was the Nike SB Day of the Dead. A lot of you guys might know, not know about this shoe. This released when I was even young. This released in 2006, that's 14 years old. 
These shoes go for a lot. This is a brand new pair. These don't, these are very, very hard pair to find. We might've maybe had three pairs ever. This is one of the rare ones that we had in the vault sitting. These go for anywhere from 2,000 to 5,000, depending on where you look at. I've seen pairs go for 5,000 easily on StockX, depending on the size, or some lowest stats for 7,000. Very, very rare shoe out there. A real sneakerhead knows out there. This is one of the, probably one of the top Nike SBs to ever release. Next sneaker that made the top 10 list for Cool Kicks is the Nike Off-White MCA Air Forces. As you guys know, these are pretty hard to find. Um, they were supposed to, I think, release that complex or uh, Chicago or somewhere for the thing. These released in 2019. Um, Virgil had, this is the last, I think, um, Off-White Air Forces that Virgil had made. He had the White Air Forces, the Volts, the MoMAs, the Complex Con exclusives. This is one of my favorite pairs. I, I tend to wear these a lot. These go from anywhere from 1400 to 2500 depending on the size. Obviously the money sizes go for way more. So this made our top 10 cut for Cool Kicks most expensive sneakers on display. The next shoe that made our cut is the not for resale Jordan 1s, especially this colorway that came out in yellow and red. These released in November of 2018. Uh, re retail was I think 160. Obviously, the shoe says not for resale, but the resale on this shoe goes from anywhere from a thousand to maybe two thousand, depending on the size. This shoe is a size seven and a half, so obviously this is a money size for any, anyone out there that's getting in the sneaker world. Money sizes, to, especially for Jordan ones, is anywhere from like seven and a half to nine and a half. Those tend to sell for way more because it's more of a common shoe size. So this shoe made our top ten cut. Very hard shoe to find, especially in this size. Um, I think this will probably end up being like a three to five thousand dollar shoe, maybe down the road, because it's so hard finding this shoe. They didn't release that many. The next shoe that made the cut for the top ten most expensive sneakers is the Jordan One Art Basils. This is the Soulfly Jordan Ones. These are the patent leather ones. These released in 2018 as well. Retail was 160. One of the hardest shoes, as you can see, 223 pairs. This is, this is probably, we've probably only had two pairs ever. So two out of 23, not bad. That's like 2% of the world or whatever. Uh, very, very limited shoe. I personally don't even have these. Um, I personally do want a pair, but I'm not trying to pay the ticket that it is. These tend to go from anywhere from, I haven't really seen many pairs, less than 5,000. Let's put it at that. Uh, obviously the shoe is very limited. There were a lot of fakes of these. When they first released, I remember a lot of people used to bring in pairs that were fake. So this, if you if you are buying this pair out there, make sure to authenticate it from somebody that knows their shit, because I don't want you guys to get scammed. But this this definitely had to make the cut. Man, honestly, all the time this got me thinking. My size two and analyze this real quick. It's Nike Jordan One Soul Flies. Nike, Nike, get rid of these Louis. This would go perfect with my fit. Comment down below, should I cop these for myself? Maybe the cut is the Jordan 1 Rolls. I want you to analyze this shoe closer. This isn't a regular Jordan 1 Royal. This is Jordan 1 Royal Satin. This released three days, three years ago. I think it was, um, April, what's it, April? Today is April 7th. 2020 this released in april of 2017 so three years ago this shoe was released at first it used to go for maybe the resale was like a thousand to fifteen hundred now especially for money size this is the nine and a it's a nine and a half another shoe that's my size um this goes for close to three thousand dollars on StockX. depending on where you look goat might be cheaper or flight club or wherever you want to look but the, i'm going off the rough as the average this shoe made the cut for the top 10 most expensive shoes the Jordan 1 Royal Sands. Copper drop in the comments, man. I think I think this one is one of my favorite ones. It's one of my favorite colors. This is the top three. Obviously, if you have the Jordan 1 Royals, you can't let the sister or brother go missing. Now we got the Jordan 1 Bread Satins. This one is the gem. This is one of my favorite shoes to ever release. I love the Jordan 1 breads in general, but the satin one in person, if you guys haven't seen this in person, this is a beautiful shoe. The details, the quality on this shoe is immaculate, especially the insoles. If you look at the insoles, 
The insoles are so detailed. And on top of that, look how many pairs I think were these. These are pretty limited, 501. Very, very dope shoe. If you have the money out there, it's brand new as well. If you have the money, that's a nine and a half. Damn, it's a nine and a half too. This is my size. Sometimes I don't even know the inventory we have in here, especially if that's my size. This shoe released in October of 2016. Uh, my birthday is in October, so and this was 2016 when we moved out here. I remember when this shoe came out, it was very, very hard to get. Retail, I think it was 175. Resale on this shoe, without researching right now. Pause this video, go check what it is. Comment down below what you think before checking it out. This shoe goes for, especially in the money size, it goes to close to $5,000. Yes, this shoe is that rare to find, especially in the money size. Some pairs obviously go for $2,000, $3,000, but if you wanna go check on StockX, this shoe is close to $5,000 for a size nine and a half, brand new. The next shoe that made the cut for the top 10 most expensive shoes is the Jordan 1 Off-Whites, the all-white ones, the Europe exclusive. Um, this shoe released in 2018. Retail was I think 190. This is one of the uh, one of the hardest hardest shoes. Personally, for me, it was the hardest shoe to ever get for me. Honestly, um, I wanted to. Get, I had the UNC Jordan ones, and I wanted to do a mismatch for a basketball celebrity game. And it was so hard for me to find this one pair of shoes. I had to dig around. I ended up. I wear nine, nine and a half. I ended up I think finding a 10, 10 and a half, and I I had to pull it off because I really wanted the shoe that bad. This shoe online, this size is an eight and a half, money size, brand new, very hard to find. These go for anywhere from four to 5,000, depending on where you look online for money size sneakers. This is definitely one of my favorite pairs ever made. The, just the details in this, the quality, it's just, it's just a dope shoe. Highly recommend if someone out there, that if you can afford it, I would definitely buy this. I would even buy this, honestly, for investment purposes. If it's four thousand a day, it might be seven thousand in a year from now. Only because it's so limited. Um, there was a Europe exclusive pair, and um, definitely goes in my top ten, my personal collection. To make the list was probably the, the best off white sneaker ever made. Jordan One Chicago's off whites. These released in twenty seventeen. I think for me exact in September. This is basically the, I think the start that made Off-White, Off-White, the brand. This was probably something that caught everyone's attention. The top 10 Off-White sneakers, the first the first 10. And this is probably the best shoe of, of the 10 that goes for the most, obviously, you know, the we have the Blazers, the OG Blazers, the Off-White Prestos, etc. This was the one that caught the most attention for everyone out there. One of my favorite shoes, um, I had a pair of these. I sold them, I, I don't know why I sold them, I should have kept them. Today's value, they keep going up, this is another investment opportunity. I would buy this and hold it. This one day might maybe hit $10,000, you never know. This shoe currently, especially in the money size, this is a size seven or seven and a half. These go for close to $5,000 online. These are the top 10 most expensive sneakers. I honest, obviously there's more shoes out there that go for more, like, these go for a lot online, the very rare shoe. We have another pair of the reds. These go for a lot. Anything the Louis Vuitton, Kanye collab, they go for, you check online, they go for five, 10,000. It's just so hard to get. I could have kept on using some of the same stuff that we have, but I wanted to keep a variety, different styles, different colorways. Um, let's just do a subtotal of how much this is. I'm gonna just go off for the rough estimate. Let's just base this off of money size 2,000. These go for like five, 6,000. I'll put 5,000 on that. The, the lowest ask on StockX was 11,000, but obviously it doesn't go for that much. I'll just put like 5,000, 6,000. We're looking at a rough <coughs> close estimate of $42,000 just right here. So if you enjoyed this video, man, give it a thumbs up. This is We're trying to, obviously, you know, we love giving back and we love doing videos with celebrities and stuff. But as you guys know, with this virus going around, the doors are closed. Hopefully we can open these doors soon for you guys, man. We love, we miss, miss, miss having these doors open and giving back to those that give back to us. Remember, every penny we make from YouTube, we want to keep giving back. We might maybe FaceTime some of our um, supporters this week and, and give back to you guys. We might do some challenges via uh, Instagram Live, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes and appreciate everyone out there. Remember, Cool Kicks will be back soon. Prayers up, and thank you for kicking it with the cool.